It's not often you get to see two brothers play for the same team in the NBA, and it's also not often you get to see a player who everyone sees as bad still on an NBA roster. But for Thanasis Antetokounmpo, that's exactly the case. And by now, you might have guessed that we are talking about the brother of Buckstar, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Both have similar genes, but on the basketball court, well, let's just say it's a totally different game. While Giannis is considered one of the best players in the NBA, Thanasis is a GOAT too. Oh wait, that's embarrassing. I mean, I guess the guy can play a little. Now, we are all familiar with the Greek freak and two-time NBA MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo, but today we're putting the spotlight on his older brother and teammate Thanasis Antetokounmpo, who also captured his first ring in the 2021 NBA Finals, which might just be the only significant thing in his NBA career. But still, when Thanasis notched a career-high 27 points against the Cleveland Cavaliers back in April 2022, everyone, including me, was equally surprised. But maybe it was time to give him the benefit of the doubt in his below-average NBA career. Nothing really came of it, and it makes us wonder why the Bucks still keep him around. I mean, seriously. After Dame hit the game winner, Thanasis couldn't even do the Dame time celebration correctly. Fans started to clown him, saying he was doing the Dre time instead of Dame time. It was so bad that Dame had to crop him out of the IG post. But let's rewind back, shall we? Born in Athens, Greece to Nigerian parents, both Thanasis and Giannis were destined for greatness. Thanasis began playing youth club basketball in Greece with junior teams at Philolytikos back in 2008. From the semi-professional levels of the Greek 4th Division to the Greek 3rd Division, he climbed the ranks, showcasing his skills and earning a nickname during the Eurobasket tournament in 2017, the Elevator, thanks to his jaw-dropping jumping ability. In the 2012-13 season with Philip Lytikos, Thanasis averaged 12.2 points, 4.9 rebounds, 1 assist, 1.1 steals, and 1 block per game. He even made a special appearance at the 2013 Greek All-Star Game, proving that he was destined for bigger stages. But before we get ahead of ourselves, there was a brief detour through the NBA Development League, which we now know as the NBA G League. Selected by the Delaware 87ers with the ninth overall pick in the 2013 NBA Development League draft, Thanasis recorded 14 points, two rebounds, and two assists in his D-League debut. By the end of the 2013-14 season, he found himself named to the 2014 NBA D-League All-Defensive Third Team. So, everything seems to be going well so far. Where did it all go wrong? In mock drafts, they were predicting a mid to late second round pick for Thanasis. There was a risk-reward scenario playing out, and teams were a bit cautious despite the upside. There were also initial predictions that he'd be a rotational sub, making sporadic appearances in games with some pundits agreeing that Thanasis has the ability to be an end-of-the-bench contributor. So looking into the crystal ball for any chance of a long-term role, it all depended on Thanasis sharpening his basketball IQ and fundamentals. If he developed his understanding of the game, coaches might entrust him with more responsibilities and minutes. Starting wasn't out of the question for Thanasis, but let's keep it real. His more realistic ceiling, even before entering the NBA, was to be a reserve player. After a stint in the NBA Development League with the Delaware 87ers, Thanasis found himself selected by the New York Knicks with the 51st overall pick in the 2014 NBA Draft. He joined the Knicks for the 2014 NBA Summer League, where he averaged 3 points and 1.8 rebounds in 5 games. The New York Knicks saw potential in the relentless motor and athleticism that runs in the Antetokounmpo family, finalizing a two-year deal with the Nassus with the hopes of getting a Greek freak of their own. However, his time with the Knicks was freakishly bad, and a roller coaster moving back and forth between the New York Knicks and the Westchester Knicks. In July 2019, he found himself back in the NBA, signing with the Milwaukee Bucks and reuniting with his brother Giannis. Together, they became the second pair of brothers on the Bucks roster after twins Brooke and Robin Lopez. However, the Nassus would soon realize that the NBA is a different ball game whether or not your brother is a star. Twitter took to action and quite literally killed this man. Twitter comments just bluntly called the Nassus simply awful, mocking him and calling him not an NBA player. One even said, and I quote, this is actually offensive to the kids who actually have talent trying to make a spot on a roster. They even questioned the move, citing nepotism. But the Bucks had an off-court plan. If having Thanasis around made Giannis even 1% happier or more focused, it was worth it. And honestly, 
which Bucks fans wouldn't want to see Giannis happy. In his first season with the Bucks, Thanasis was mostly a garbage time player, starting only two of 20 games he played in. But he had moments of hustle that caught the eye. The Bucks believed that having Thanasis on the roster added intangibles that went beyond well, at least traditional statistics. In his second season in Milwaukee, Thanasis broke through and won the NBA championship with the Bucks, hugely deserved based on his resilient journey alone. His playing time improved that season to 57 games, although he only started three, which wasn't surprising considering the fact that he was projected to be a bench player. Thanasis had one or two good moments that season, including a career-high performance, 23 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and shooting 4 to 5 from 3 against the Knicks in late March. Not bad for someone who supposedly only made it to the NBA because of his brother. It might have come in a close loss, but it was a statement game for Thanasis. He missed a couple of games in the finals due to the NBA's COVID-19 protocol, and even though he wasn't in the spotlight for the Bucks' title win, he was certainly part of it. In August 2021, he re-signed with the Bucks on a two-year deal, solidifying his place in the championship-winning squad. On the 10th of April 2022, Thanasis recorded another career high, scoring 27 points alongside five rebounds, two assists, and a block in a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. In the 2022-2023 season, the Milwaukee Bucks secured a playoff spot early on, and Giannis was in the MVP race. However, things took a turn for Thanasis. Critics started pointing out his struggles on the court, and a suspension added fuel to the fire. In late March 2023, during a game against the Boston Celtics, he engaged in an altercation with Blake Griffin, headbutting him and earning an ejection and a game suspension. But let's not take away the talents that Thanasis Antetokounmpo has. Standing tall at 6 foot 7 inches, he possesses a unique combination of size, speed, and agility, allowing him to excel in multiple positions, including small forward and power forward. His physical attributes translate seamlessly into quick cuts and explosive leaping for rebounds and blocks and strong finishes at the rim. Comparing him with his younger, taller brother Giannis, both under the Compo brothers leverage their long limbs, huge hands, and extraordinary athleticism to make plays on both ends of the floor. Now, they're not carbon copies as Thanasis is a bit shorter, but bring speed to the table. He moves with or without the ball sometimes faster than even Giannis, making him a more formidable defender against guards. At one point, there was even a chance he might have outshined Giannis in the perimeter shooting department. Yet, basketball IQ and consistency are the Achilles heel for Thanasis. His lack of NBA experience occasionally leads to poor shot selection, tunnel vision on drives, and defensive lapses. Offensive decisions, especially when to cut making the right play, are aspects that need refinement. Defensively, he can be overzealous on closeouts, falling prey to pump fakes, and occasionally losing his man. And let's not ignore the shooting inconsistency. With a three-point conversion rate at 14.5% and three-point field goals made attempted per game of 9 of 62, it's really bad. Anyway, the Antetokounmpo's journey continued with the Nassus re-signing with the Milwaukee Bucks in July 2023. Although the attention was often on Giannis, the Nassus, the elder brother, secured his spot on the team for yet another season. Returning for his fifth season with the Bucks, the Nassus had played 37 games the previous season, but struggled with a career low 43.5% shooting from the field. In his four seasons with Milwaukee, he appeared in 162 games, making 11 starts and averaging about 8.4 minutes per game, 2.7 points and 1.8 rebounds. Despite not being a high impact player statistically, the Bucks valued his presence both on and off the court. In a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Nassus got some rare playing time. Subbing into the game with around six minutes left in the third quarter, he found himself in the midst of a blowout. The Bucks were down by a significant margin, and head coach Adrian Griffin decided to empty the bench. The Nassus, in for Chris Middleton, played the rest of the quarter and finished with one assist and one block. A video of this sequence circulated on social media, drawing both criticism and humor. NBA fans questioned why the Bucks still kept him on the roster, with some calling him one of the worst players in the league. Critics had long questioned Thanasis' place in the NBA, especially as an end-of-the-bench option for the Bucks. Fans called out the Bucks for nepotism. Okay, pairing two brothers isn't necessarily a bad thing, but for a team like the Bucks in the middle of a championship window, it's not the best of ideas, especially as Thanasis is still on the roster despite being almost completely absent from the rotation. 
So far this season, he is averaging only 4.4 minutes per game. So, does having Thanasis on the roster make any difference aside from being Giannis's cheerleader? Well, NBA rosters are 15 players deep, and not every player gets significant playing time. In the case of Thanasis, he had been an end-of-the-bench option for years. And even though Coach Griffin has featured him in some games, he is probably best suited to the bench. So, it's not what he brings to the court, but the value he brings to the locker room and his positive impact on Giannis. The idea was that Thanasis was a package deal for Giannis, and if he kept the Bucks superstar happy, it was worth the roster spot. The Bucks' moves, such as trading for Damian Lillard and hiring a new coach with Giannis' blessing, indicated a commitment to catering to their star players' preferences. Needless to say, it's hard to imagine Thanasis getting a legit shot if not for his last name and his brother's stature. But hey, the man's in the NBA, collecting that paper, baby, and seems super happy while at it. Look, I'd love that job if I were him too.